a guitar or a, a trombone or what have you. And when you, usually most people, when they hear those sounds, pretty much know what's making it, and you can picture what's making it. And electronic music, I feel, lets you make all those sounds that you can't picture what the instrument is that's making it. And you definitely picture, you know, you can definitely picture things making those sounds, but, but they're not usually instruments or anything recognizable like that. I was always interested in circuit bending and the possibilities of corrupting code and corrupting stuff. And the, there's the ability there to program stuff which will make unique sounds. The sounds of things breaking usually appeals to me and the sounds of electronic uh, things breaking and being confused. But with the patch blocks you can actually repeatably do that sort of thing where you can actually build a system where it collapses in a certain way or um, or the sound just breaks up in a certain way which people wouldn't normally build into effects maybe even through partly through trial and error being able to uh, to trip over stuff maybe sometimes you do something by mistake but you really like the way that it sounds and you can incorporate that in as a, a part of the design being able to do it meaningfully i think is a, a really nice potential feature you know feature that people can access if, if that's what they're looking for um and i think the the potential for it to be really open-ended is there much more through the way that they've done it Most of my understanding of sound and harmonics and uh, musical scales and stuff like that was all learnt from her. Nothing she did was by mistake. I'm sure that Patch Blocks would have really resonated with her because she, she had a very good mind for thinking in maths and numbers and um, analogizing things or maybe just even seeing the numbers when she heard the sound and she was always some of her more famous pieces um, that you can find um, there's one of them I think it's called Blue Veils, uh, Blue Veils and Golden Sands and that was mostly created by analyzing the sound that a lampshade made when it was struck tell from the the sound of it what it's saying in a way and you can you can get the vibe of what it's saying without actually there being any words to it even when it's forwards because there's several layers of it all saying the same thing that you can't actually hear what any of them are saying and it just becomes a um, a sort of bed I think that voice sounds and human voice particularly is just something that we really respond to in a, in a really unique way. <laughs> 